Hi, good evening. I'm Hans Florentino. I'm an alumnus of Don Bosco Lawaan. So I'm a Bosconian by heart and by face. <laughs> Tonight, I just would like to share with you this amazing story that happened for the past few months during this um, pandemic. Last January, or at the beginning of 2020, it was really difficult for me and, my, and for my family. I had a, an operation. I had my gallbladder removed because of stones. So gallbladder stones, it got infected, so it has to remove. And these are the stones. So if you can see there. Yeah, the remembrance of the pain and the effect of that surgery, which was me having almost bankrupt. So financially, it was very difficult. Um, we spent around 200,000 pesos plus for that surgery. That's very small surgery. And it, was, it really took me off guard. And as I was about to you know, slowly recover for 2020, this COVID thing happened with the quarantine and lockdown. And in an instant, the projects that I have for the months were all gone. And so that means I basically have no source of income and as they passed by, slowly and slowly, the pressure really built up. There's just so much uncertainty. Ba? So it was so difficult for me. And then one time, I, just after our night prayers with my wife, we were in bed, and then I asked her, what if I didn't have that surgery last January? If it didn't happen, we could all have been really in a very smooth situation right now. You know, we could have been financially better this time. And then she just responded, if that did not happen in January, how about if it happened now? What would, be, what would we be like? And that shift and the change of perspective really hit me so bad. And I, yeah, I mean, she's right. What, it, it would have been worse if it happened now. And as she was telling this, you know, I was, I was just really blank and spaced out. And I was just telling myself that she's right. And I just was so focused on, on controlling the situation and, and really forgetting about the bigger picture. It had a very big switch. And then slowly and slowly, I started to um, just surrender and to let go. And I pray to God, that, Lord, this is, you know, you will not abandon me. And then slowly I stood up, I became more motivated and really did, you know, work. Um, contacted my clients, converse, converse with other people and slowly and slowly, miraculously, projects started coming in bit by bit and bit by bit. It was all a good climb and the biggest challenge came right after when my wife was about to give birth. And as we are financially depleted and all that, <clears throat> I just have to continue no matter. I know God will never leave us alone. God will never abandon us. Just continue praying. Just continue standing up, showing up every day. By some miraculous um, event, a client of mine who didn't pay for such a long time suddenly paid. The, 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 the night when I got the payment that night, our baby boy was delivered to this world. So it was a really big, um, um, beautiful orchestration of the events of God, of how God is putting everything in place. And I remember um, in from our home to the hospital, I passed by Don Bosco Loan. I just remember the many, many, many houses, um, oratories and orphanages that Don Bosco is having um, right now and then all the ch and this pandemic is here and all the challenges of, of you know keeping up and surviving and feeding the kids and the boys and I just realized that I'm sure God never abandons that God will never abandon us how much more for me and for my little boy will never abandon that and I'm just really really grateful and I pray that as we move on with the new normal, we, we move on with our lives, we 
just continue to be grateful for whatever we have and really cherish that gratitude and believe that God will never abandon us. Good evening.